As of May 7th, 2023, there are currently 41 volcanoes which are actively erupting around the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is the famous Popocatepetl volcano in Mexico that is 71 kilometers southeast of Mexico City, which has been almost continuously erupting since 2004 and is the second tallest active volcano in all of North America. Its eruptive activity has mostly consisted of intermittent strombolian to volcanian explosions which eject bombs of lava, ash, and occasionally pyroclastic flows. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano-related news stories. In Alaska, an earthquake storm occurred at the Trident volcano possibly due to a moderate depth magmatic intrusion which seemingly triggered additional earthquakes at three other adjacent volcanoes. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, the Gamalama volcano, which has not produced an eruption in five years, produced an intense earthquake storm. And for this week's top story, in the Philippines, one of the four volcanoes which has produced frequent volcanic eruptions in the last decade, Canlaon, has a chance of erupting in the short to midterm future. For context, the Canlaon volcano is located on the island of Negros in the central western Philippines. It has erupted more than a dozen times in the last 100 years, including an eruption about every five years during the 21st century so far. Canlaon is thus highly active and currently has a 4km exclusion zone around its summit. Between March 3rd and April 19th, 2023, it had only produced a daily total of sulfur dioxide ranging from 64 to 156 tons a day. This figure increased to 206 tons a day on April 27th before it dramatically jumped to 1,099 tons a day on April 30th, being a full order of magnitude higher than is typical. Additionally, two of the last 10 days saw more than 10 earthquakes occur at the volcano in a day, which is somewhat unusual. Taken into account in the context of this volcano, it appears that a change has occurred in its hydrothermal system, possibly triggered by an influx of magma at depth. Canlaon's eruptions are almost universally phreatic, and this makes it harder to predict. However, in the month before an eruption occurs, there are generally three things which all occur, of which two of these three on the checklist have already occurred. Thus, a new volcanic eruption from Canlaon in the next month is possible. In Indonesia, making up the entirety of Ternate Island is the volcano of Gamalama, with more than 100,000 people living on its flanks. When this volcano erupts, a large number of people are placed at risk. However, the northern section of the island is typically most at risk in an eruption due to the volcano's topography. Explosive eruptions have occurred more than a dozen times in the last 100 years, including a prior eruption in 2018, with eruptions occasionally producing pyroclastic flows and lahars. On May 3, 2023, Gamma Lama produced its highest number of earthquakes in more than a year as 71 quakes occurred. This included 22 quakes related to the movement of volcanic gases and 36 volcano tectonic quakes. All of this activity suggests that a batch of magma could already be intruding at shallow depths underneath Gamma Lama. Thus, in my opinion, by May 20th, 2023, Gamma Lama has a double-digit percentage chance of erupting, probably with a small to moderate intensity. In Alaska, two volcanoes are erupting while another four are at a raised alert level of yellow. One of these volcanoes, Trident, is located in Katmai National Park, which has seemingly been the site of a magmatic intrusion and a reactivation since August of 2022. In somewhat of a brief period that followed this suspected intrusion, I interpret that magma reached shallow depths, spreading out to interact with the hydrothermal system of Trident and three adjacent volcanoes in a line of activity. This has produced earthquake storms, including the largest storm to occur at Trident in three months which just occurred. Consisting of 72 low-magnitude earthquakes between May 4th and May 5th of 2023, these represent a spike in activity, once again probably being related to a change in various volcanoes' hydrothermal systems. Uplift has not yet been detected, although when earthquakes from occurs, there is always an increased risk of an eruption occurring in the short term. Here is a quick list of all the world's volcanoes which are currently erupting. Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on May 6th of 2023. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.